I don't believe this like at all, just so you know. At the Revolt Summit, right-wing grifter Candace Owens got into a pretty heated debate with ATL-based rapper T.I. about Make America Great Again and what that means to her. So he asked her a very simple question. What era in America would you prefer to go back to? And as you're going to see here, it got pretty heated and she didn't have an answer. The fear that Trump has lifted in poor whites, yeah. that black people and poor yeah. urban people are their problem. Right. When, when did so, Trump ever say that? That's, see, that's, a, that's a fallacy. When did Trump ever say black people Make are their problem? Make America great again. That's when he said it. Guys, that but was I'm not on the panel. That so was I Ronald sure. Reagan's slogan. Was that racist when Ronald Reagan had it as a slogan? Yes, what time? It was. Yes, let me ask oh, you. Oh, so that's, Whoa, that's please slogan answer this. Is Please answer this. I have a question. So, I have a question. So wait, please, wait, wait. Tip, please just tip, allow me you. this one outburst. Please. I have a question. When you say make America great again, which period are we talking about? The period when women couldn't vote? The period when we were hanging from trees? I'll answer. Or, or, or like the crack era? Which period in America are you trying to make I, America I would, like So I, I actually think that I would I would totally rock a hat right now that said make black America great again. Because black no, America, make America before, we're talking about make America. Hat, that that wasn't the no, question. I, answer, I am answering which your question. Which period was America great that we're trying to replicate? Well, I, which era was it? Tell me. I think I'll answer your question. Tell I'm me. I'm ready to answer your question. Which era was it? What? Which era was so great? You, here's the thing that you guys are forgetting. America was actually one of the first. Slavery was all over the world. The all question. over the world. Man, America was, I'm not, I'm not saying it's okay, so why are you saying, oh? Hey, Amen. America was, was one of the first to countries. To I want to like you so bad. I'm trying to answer your question. I want to like you so much. I can't answer the question. I want to be able to hear them. I want to be able to hear them. If I can't answer the question and you're just going to boo when I say slavery was all over the world, which is a fact, why are you booing a fact? Finish because you're point. making light of no, I'm not. You're making light I of haven't the gotten to my points. I'm not making people that look like us. You can't All make right. light of that. That ain't nothing you breathe over. I haven't even over. finished the sentence. How am I making you light of anything? You started with some bullshit. Okay. No. So. Candace. We can, Candace, hold on, wait, 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 wait. We can be emotional, so, Candace, we can wait, wait, boo, no, no, you can no, cheer, on, but I'm on, telling on, you right on. now, the black Candace, vote is on. not gonna matter. So, my, so that was um, thoroughly entertaining, and my favorite part was when she invoked Ronald Reagan as kind of a get out of jail free card to kind of, um, you know, cleanse Trump of his racism because he is just adopting a slogan that Ronald Reagan previously had. So the question was, are you gonna say that Ronald Reagan is racist too? And the answer very simply was, yeah, that's easy. Of course he was racist. He was one of the most racist presidents, you could argue. He was the individual who invented the term welfare queens about black women, to fearmonger about black women. So it just shows you how ignorant she is of history, but this is kind of what she does. She isn't just a historical, but she will deny historical facts. She said that the Southern strategy wasn't a thing. She said this in a testimony before Congress. She literally said that with a straight face. This is someone who has no moral core. She is just in it for the check. That's evident because she can't come up with arguments to explain why it's good for black Americans to support Donald Trump. And she's the ind individual who spearheaded this Blexit movement where she's making the case that if you are a black American, then it would behoove you to support Donald Trump. But most black Americans rightfully do not support Donald Trump because his policies are a disaster for them. The Republican Party is absolutely destructive to black Americans. But she's saying that, you know, it's the conservatives and the Republican Party now, the modern Republican Party, that's actually better for black America than Democrats. I mean, it's a joke, but when it comes to the question is of what era do you want to replicate? This is a question that I've always wanted to ask Trump supporters, because if the slogan is make America great again, the implication is that it was once great and it's no longer great. So the idea is there must be an era in time. If you had a time machine that you'd want to return to a status quo that was preferable to what we have now. And T.I. asked the question. What era do you want to replicate? Because the underlying assumption here is that if you're a black American, especially, why would you want to go back to any point in time? Because throughout the history of this country, it has not been kind 
to black Americans. It has not been kind to women. It has not been kind to poor people. It has not been kind to the LGBTQ plus community. It's still not kind to these groups, but obviously things have gotten better. There's still systemic racism, institutional racism, social discrimination. There's all of these issues, police brutality against marginalized minorities, but to go backwards would make individuals from these groups who are vulnerable much, much worse. So to suggest that maybe we should go back to a different era, it really doesn't make sense. It seems like it's contrary to your own self-interest to support this idea. So the question that T.I. asked is simple. Where do you want to go back to, Candace? What era in U.S. history would be better for you? Because it doesn't really seem like there's any era that would be preferable. So what are you talking about? And see, this is the thing about the MAGA slogan and why it was so persuasive and why it resonated with a lot of people because it's a blank slate. Trump isn't saying, let's go back to 1969. Let's go back to 1973. He's just saying, make America great again. So individuals who support Donald Trump can kind of insert whatever they want there. They simply attribute whatever meaning they want to that slogan. So that's why Make America Great Again was a slogan that resonated with a lot of people. Now, of course, I'm overgeneralizing here, but this is something that as a Trump supporter, she should be ready to answer. But the fact that she couldn't shows that she's in this for the money. It's all about the paycheck. Mike is a total loser, so don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.